Hi, I'm Emma and I'm packed arty and today we're going to be making Fanta. So in front of you, you should have an art pack which will have all the kit that you need to make your Fanta. You can either have it on a shelf, um, hanging from your tree or even put blue tack on the back and stick it to a window. Okay. First things, if you find a space so you can empty your pack out and you've got plenty of room to see that you've got everything and you can make your Santa. Um, also, can I just say, if you need to pause this video to either take a break and come back to it or if I'm moving too fast and you want to catch up and then watch it again, that's okay. So are we ready? You, you'll have your art pack with all you need to make your Santa. So let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm going to just tip them off the bag so you can see them. Sorry, the cotton wool's white against a white background, but you can see it's cotton wool. So you should have six balls of cotton wool, a little tiny bauble for two pieces of light um, craft card in white, a little hat, a pencil, some glue dots, a nose which might be peachy coloured, pink or red, and you've got a wooden triangle that I've glued together at home because I wanted to make it extra strong um, and it's a quite fiddly getting it into a triangle shape so I've done that for you. What you'll notice different about my pieces is I've already popped the glue dots on. That's only because I've got quite chubby fingers and it's quite fiddly for me so you'd be waiting ages while I took them off the thing and then put position them so I'll show you where you can put them but I've already put mine on get rid of those so you will have glue dots in your pack so the first thing we're going to do is move the cotton wool out of the way move the pencil the hat and the nose just to one side and we're going to concentrate on um, what we're going to do with that's going to be a face and this is going to be a beard, okay? So position, I've used two, but you only need to use one. Um, I'm going to take the backs off, so i pop them in the bin. So they're sticky for my face to stick to the lolly stick triangle, okay? So I will pick these up off my floor because some are missing my bin afterwards. Okay, now all of them are sticky now. So you get one of the triangles, they're both the same, and you sort of hover it over the top like so, and you then position it. So we're pressing it down once it's in the right position, like so. And then we flip it over Okay, those marks are for sticking the beard on and the hat, so yours will just be a triangle on the back with no sticky dots. So that is going to be the face with the point at the top for the Santa. So I think the next thing we're going to do is to do, well you're going to put glue dots on the bottom. Now any of those can be the bottom. Um, on mine because I've already stuck it on I've chosen that okay so I'm going to again take carefully see they're quite fiddly but if you've got little fingers it's a lot better um, there you go can do them uh, they stick quite once you've took the back the back off the um, sheet to stick them on the wood they're not going anywhere they're very sticky that okay this one 
So now I'm getting my beard. Again, yours will look different because it won't have a load of glue dots on it. <laughs> it will just be a plain piece of card. So the straight edge, I'm, I know where I've put my glue dots for sticking my beard, um, my fluffy beard on. So that's why I know where to stick, but it doesn't matter on yours which way around. So offer it up, like hover it over, make sure it's right and press down quite firmly, but you don't have to go mad and then that's not going anywhere. Okay, so the next thing before I stick the beard on, I think I'm going to stick Santa's hat on. Okay, so again, I've put some dots there for the sides and I've also put some there. Um, I don't think I need both of those, but um, take the backs off so they stick to the paper. Okay, so that's sticky. Let's make sure the top's sticky. Get rid of those. So the top should be sticky as well. That's a pesky one. That's it. So then, like you did with the beard, you hover the hat over the top, so it's the same triangle shape as there, the same template, so it should fit perfect. And when you've got it in the right position, gently press it down there, and then you can press those sides down onto there as well. So again, not going anywhere. Um, now what I'm going to do, and I might, oh no, I think I can do it upside down. So I'm going to pop his nose on, only so then I can draw his eyes on. That's why you've got the pencil. So you can make his eyes however you like them. So the nose is going on just above his beard, just to give me a bit more room for the eyes. It's got fluff off the cotton wool. Okay, so I'm going to just do round eyes. So if you can see, I'm just going round and round and round. But I'm leaving a little white bit in there because that's like looks like when light reflects on an eye. Okay, and then I think I'm going to give mine some eyebrows. Now we can have bushy eyebrows like this. Okay, there we go. So we've got some eyebrows as well. Now to pop my pom-pom on top of my hat. So now you can see why it's quite fiddly if I started sticking everything on um, not before because you'd be waiting ages but remember if you want to pause this video while you're undoing all your things I find moving too fast you can pause it and then when you stuck your blue dots on reset it and watch it okay so now I'm going to take all of the backs off even though I'm going to be sticking one cotton wool ball on at a time just because it's easier and I think once I start sticking one on it's going to get in a bit of a pickle trying to take the backs off the others As you might notice, I'm supposed to put them in a bin on the floor, but um, it's a um, But it doesn't matter if you want to put them on the table, I just, because I'm videoing it, I just want the table to be clear so you can see it clearly. So I'm just testing which ones I took the back off. There we go. So all the backs are off. Okay, I'm putting my pencil out of the way. You can keep that pencil and use it another time. So we don't waste it. So you've got a cotton wool ball, and what I'm going to do is like tease it out a little bit, just so it spreads better. It's not going, don't pull it apart, because then you might need more glue dots to stick it on. So as you can see, and if you wanted a pom-pom made of this, you could tear a little bit off like that, roll it round and stick that on instead, okay? So I'm tearing this off like that. We've got a really fluffy beard. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm not ripping it apart, it's still one piece, and then I'm squeezing it there so we've got a really fluffy beard. 
you might not use all six pom poms, not pom poms, cotton wool pom poms, I guess. Um, but I've put six in just so you've got enough definitely to cover your beard. If you find you only need five, that's cool. Okay, almost there. One last one. You can also you wanted a smile coming up either side of his nose and do the nose higher you can do that with your pencil I'm just thinking that and then I've made it sort of a bit pointy like that for the bottom and there we have I'm just gonna move his pom -pom there. there you have a wonderful Santa so you can either nestle him in your Christmas tree, you can pop him on a shelf, you can have him sat by your bed, you can put blue tack on the back and pop him on a window or a sh the edge of a shelf, it's up to you. So you'll have made your own unique Santa. Thank you for joining and watching.